Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 on the PC with a few mods. I'm your host Cause Fate, it's episode 52. We are here at Krup Manor. And uh, I'm not even sure what time of day it is. It's 8.22 p.m. I need to sleep. Okay. Well then we're going to do that. We made this bed. We're going we're gonna to sleep some time away here. Um, I have to figure out what missions we're doing. There's so much going on, and it's fun to just get a little bit of time here. To... Well rested, parched from lack of water. Let's find out. We got something going on with our stats. We are peckish, parched, over encumbered, and weakness. Can I get rid of the weakness with antibiotics? Yes. Thanks. Let's see how that works out. Properly hydrated. Radiated food. I have 87 radiated food. No wonder I'm so heavy. Oh my gosh. Let's eat some of this. Pork and beans. Who doesn't love pork and beans? Charge 44. Let's go with that one. So I didn't have the proper materials to make a radio recruitment beacon here, so I'm going to have to send people here from somewhere else, but at least we cleared this house out. Is that... Yeah, gang is fairly cool. Alright, let's check out our situation here. Quests, what's up? Quartermastery, report to Scribe Halen, because we recovered the thing. Cleansing the Commonwealth. Clear out Parkview Lounge. Where the heck is that at? It's over by our home hangman's alley okay that's cool uh we can do that trade craft meet deacon at the old north church we're not going to do that for a while find the eddie winter holotapes that's what we were doing continue travel with mccready we still need to see the brotherhood meet hancock as the shroud we're not going to do that yet alt tech and we're not going to worry about any of these things open your personal storage container wow 144 in the Shamrock Trap House. I need to do all this other secondary stuff. Where we're at, we just need to get out of here then. And head back off in this direction. So many games, so little time. I've been trying to play some. I've been trying to find some games to play just, just to kind of fill the time when when I'm not YouTubing. It's I don't always want to YouTube. Sometimes I just want to play something for 45 minutes or whatever. Whatever, and it's nothing major. And, and uh, I've, I've settled on. Hey, what? Hey, you. Jeez. Darn dogs. And I've settled on two games for right now in the immediate future. Well, three, really, I guess. I've never played a Borderlands game, so I've, I, I've had Borderlands 1 and 2 on my Steam account for a long time, and people told me just skip 1 and go straight to 2, so I installed Borderlands 2 and been playing that a little bit. I certainly love the art style. It seems like it's definitely a game you want to play with other people, though, and I'm just trying to play this story solo. Really, I really wish it had just a straight single-player mode. Some of it, it seems like there's a lot of enemies, and I think it's really designed to be played with multiple people at a time. And I'm... just want to do it solo, but the other two games that would that I've been playing it on. I'll get to, get to the third one in a second. The next one is um, Shadowrun Returns. I've played Shadowrun Dragonfall before and finished that game. And I really, for an indie studio, they make those Shadowrun games really well. They do a really nice job with them. Their uh, the user interfaces are nice and clean and the gameplay is good. And uh, for 
for a game that has absolutely no voice acting because they're trying to keep the budget down. Those games are just, I love turn-based combat and I really like those games a lot. Can I hit that dog for me? Yep. Well, that made one of them angry. Alpha glowing mongrel, feral mongrel. Do they see me? Are they coming? There's one right there. Yeah, there it is. We're not alpha feral glowing mongrel. Let's go see what he dropped. If anything. Irradiated bullet. Well, someone should make use of it. Oh, yes. I think since we're here, we should do long neck Nuklowski's because there's a... There's a bobblehead in here. Maybe that's what this episode will be about, even though I'm wounded. Which kind of... Like my, my armor here is not in the best shape. I think this is just ghouls. If I remember correctly. Can I get up there? Do I have to go in through the front, front, front door? Long neck Lukowski's cannery. Oh, there's some good stuff here. I don't want the folder. I want what's in the desk. Flip lighter. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Technical document. There's some jet. Cram. I really don't need any more radiated food. I'm carrying 80, it said. So, I mean, we're good there. There's You can get a ton of aluminum in this place, though. This is what's awesome about Long neck Lukowski's. Let's go. Let's see if I can just get up. There's a different way into this place. That could be kind of cool. Yeah, so Shadowrun returns. The Shadowrun games. They're just so much fun. I love turn based games. I like the Shadowrun world. Um, and, and so, for a game that, if you're just thinking, oh, I just want to kill half an hour or whatever I want to do a little mission I want to have a little turn-based combat and have a little fun it's they're great games love them. can't praise those enough I'm already enjoying Shadowrun Returns and I have all the Shadowrun games in my Steam library I've only played through Dragonfall but I, I intend to play through all of those they're just cool um, the third game I'm trying to fill some of my time with is one that so many people have recommended yes and that's uh Witcher 3, which I already hate. I mean, I'm going to slog my way through that game, but good lord, the combat in that game is just terrible. It's just terrible. Got it. I, I, I don't understand it, and it seems like what, what, I've, what I've gotten out of playing it and then talking to other people is that the people who love it, love it for the story. They love it because... Of that reason I haven't heard anybody say I haven't heard one single person say oh yeah the combat's my favorite what I've heard is the story's fantastic and it's a big rich Tolkien-esque world and it's like okay but there's a lot of combat going on and it stinks so I think uh, if the Witcher Netflix series is any good at all with with Kevil they're uh, they're going to be doing all right for themselves because the people want the Witcher story. It's not necessarily the gameplay, that's for sure. And I just can't believe how bad the combat is. I just can't believe how terrible it is. It's it's just the most atrocious thing. And I thought combat couldn't get worse than Witcher One, but th th this I mean this is I suppose it's an improvement. But good lord, the fact that it's that bad is just kind of staggering. And I kind of, to a certain degree, understand why they made the combat the way they did in The Witcher. Because they want this... They want you to play out a cinematic fight scene. So, when you watch other people on YouTube play it who are good at it. And they're, they're parrying. And then getting blows in. And taking out swarms of enemies all at the same time. You only take ten cans? You know, it tastes better than that old gram or brahmin that's been sitting out in the sun for days. There, there are people out there who are hungry. You just gotta sell up the product a bit more. I'm sorry, but ten cans is all I can commit to right now. It oh was selling like crazy I've for never a while seen there, this. but 
There's been talk about people getting sick. People, people get sick all the time. That, that, that has nothing to do with my product. Besides, I mean, I, I'm only selling the meat you people bring me. If there's something wrong with it, it's your own damn fault. Oh, so now it's my fault? Forget it, the deal's off. You want to sell your product to the people out there? Then you can get out there and do it your damn self. What? Hey, oh, oh, come on. Fine, leave. Oh, Don't that's funny. Back. I've never seen this part of the quest before. Bit. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry you had to see that. Just some trade negotiations. Distributors. Always trying to talk their way into a bigger cut of the profit. I'm Theodore Collins, and I run Longneck Lekowski's. Purveyor of the finest canned food in all the Commonwealth. We've got a fresh batch of Long Neck Lekowski's canned meat. Just pulled out yesterday. You looking to buy? What was that about people getting sick? Look, she was just angling for a better deal. A few people may have gotten sick, but I mean, I, a couple of contaminated cans doesn't mean it isn't still the best product. Are you interested in buying some of Long Neck Lekowski's delicious canned meat? <laughs> what do you mean, contaminated? Uh, there might have been some mole rats that got into the machinery. I, I mean, a couple of cans were probably just uh, didn't get sealed right and spoiled. But uh, I, I, I swear to you, I, that, that I run a clean shop. If you went back there right now, you wouldn't see a single mole rat near the machine. Except on the cutting table. But there's nothing wrong with mole rat meat. We use a mix, you know, to give you the best of everything. We buy old cans and the best meat the Commonwealth has, so we can offer the finest product on the market. Looking to take a few cans home with you? So I can have a look around. Boy, you are persistent, <laughs> aren't you? Well, <coughs> the customer is always right, I always say. You're welcome to have a look. Bet you work up quite an appetite traveling. Wouldn't you like to sate that hunger with a good can of Long Neck Lakowski's? Not interested right now. Tell your friends, Long Neck Lakowski's. It's the best. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the missile launcher. That's not what I was going for. That's great. I've never seen this part of the quest before. I don't. I don't know why I don't remember that. He seemed to come in here maybe through a back door sneakily and he's already dead or something. Oh, so this is what he's got going on. Hey, Brahmin skulls. Empty cans. These are great because they're aluminum, which is awesome. Let's go see what we see. Sit stay out of the basement. Long neck. Thinking there, buddy. So that's not his name, Long Neck. His, his name was something else. It's one of those people with a really scratchy voice. It's uh That's exactly what my cat is. I have a cat. I have two cats really. But one of them. It's a very, very scratchy voice. What is this? You can't get through there. Okay, let's see. Is the... Is the quest... Active? Okay, inspect the cannery. It might give me a... It's not gonna give me a... So, this is what two centuries without a good dusting looks like. Yeah, basically. So let's see. Oh, so what is this? This is... There's a door over here. Chained? C. Okay, well, let's keep looking then. I'm gonna press that button, but I'm afraid to press the button. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, potted meat. I'm not stealing that. I just want the aluminum. So let's see. There's... No way through there. And 
let's see what happens if I shut all this off. Take out that and that. Where does it tell me to go? It doesn't say anything. And your... There's a bathroom. Two bathrooms. Where I'm sure some of... Meat comes from. <laughs> Long neck of the cow skin. That's it. That's it. Alright, you and me. I got milk bottles. There's nothing through that door. What am I missing here? He said stay out of the basement, but I don't see... I guess we're going to have to press this button, aren't we? But before we do that, I want to have one more look in case, I, in case I missed anything. That door's chained. We can't get through there. Is there... What's over here on this machinery? It will not. This machine can't be opened up. This is... Hey, what's this thing? How do we get this to move? Yeah, this button. Here we go. Now we're making progress. I have a bad feeling about this. Local elevator controls disabled by system administrator. What's going on here? Logs. Still works. Let's see if this old terminal still works. It seems to be more or less intact. Got the robots working, but I'm still reading up on how to use the canning retorts. This looks like they're broken, but apparently this place was built on the ruins of an even older cannery, so I'm going to try to see if there's any parts to scavenge. Repairs. Running about a week behind schedule, but I've got the retorts up and running again. Managed to find the parts I needed, though it took longer than expected when some ghouls broke through the wall. One of the traders I've been talking to got here before I had things ready, and half the meat he sold me spoiled before I could get it canned. Had to mix in some meat from the mole rats I found down here, but who's going to know the difference? Explosion. Damn it. Tort 2 blew a hole in the side, and the explosion shook loose some of the bricks down here. Took out part of the damn walkway. That hole in the wall widened, and more ghouls kept getting in. We have to get a fence set up down here and keep them out. Borats. Even running with only one retort, this has been working out way better than I could have hoped. That book I found on marketing really seems to be doing the trick. The problem now is that the traders can't ever seem to bring me enough meat. But having to mix in more and more mole rat. Shame, since I always thought they were kind of cute. Gotta find some other meat to use if I'm gonna keep up this level of production. I assume he did, and it's probably what, ghouls? So this is... Oh, get away from there. They triggered something, didn't they? Yeah, there's a bomb on that side. We got here. Well, oh, they were rad roaches. Oh, I didn't really want to use that. There's an irradiated blood rad roach. Bottle cat, mole rat meat. Rad ex, rad away, rad roach meat. I'm gonna have a lot of, a lot of meat here. Mole rats, meat. All right, meat. Should I take the hides? Can the hides be used for anything? I think they can actually. That might be, but I think it's only leather. I need to find out about that. Sweet ammo. That roach meat. Insta mash. I'm gonna skip sniper. Pardon. All right. Let's, let's have a look at the rest of this here. The terminal somewhere. Oh, requires a terminal. Okay. Remote door control. Open the door. Hey, look at here. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna grab that. I'm also gonna grab some exploding stuff. This is this 
fence can be opened. Looks like I may also be able to go around. It's a good fence there though. It's gonna protect me. Let's look at weapons. Explosives. I have fragmentation grenades. Perfect. Let's use a couple of those. Something went off like there was a landmine. Landmine? Oh, well, there's the hole in the wall. Did he mine this place? Am I gonna get my butt blown up? There we go. Ghouls. What else is around here? guys. What's going on here? Oh, what I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are the rest of you fools at? Medium rifle of nocturnal what? Plus 50% damage at night, plus 100% damage at midnight. I love these. Yes. Oh man, I love those. Those are so much fun. Okay, that's gonna be great. Um, pistol. Can we go through here? Nope. Okay. And let's see a plastic spoon. Oops, I haven't saved in one. I'll do that. <laughs> That's the wrong thing. Who killed the lights? I did. Are you here? Hey, you showed up finally. Found your way down. Um, got an idea. I don't know if it's going to be a good one. Was it fragmentation? Mine? Don't, don't get me in trouble yet, here, buddy. What do I do? Dang it! I always press the wrong button. Alright, let's do this. I always press the wrong button and now everybody that heard me complaining about Witcher 3 is going, yeah, that's why you suck at Witcher 3. Yeah, I know that's part of the problem. Who else is still here? Anybody? There we go. First time I met a pharaoh, I hoped it would ignore me because I wasn't made of meat. Hey, here we go. Oh, he's... Well, we found the big one. Where'd he go? Where did he go, Nick? I want to... Uh oh, Nick. Did we lose him? In the water? Oh, no, he didn't. He was right there. He was there somewhere. Mini gun of freezing? Are you kidding me? Creases... That's way better than the minigun I was carrying. That's awesome. Okay. The other one was the poisoner. I'll take the freezing one. That's squirrel on a stick. I'll, t I'll eat the radiated food. Fancy lad snack cakes. Cram. All 
I was thinking they were gonna bum rush me, so I wanted to stick those down, but. Carrying too much and can no longer run. It's alright. So, this will all work out just fine. I hear machine gun torrents. Machine gun torrents. Did he get by that? Nope. Did not. Oh, do we have to go down there? Oh man, really? Ah, I guess we do. Okay, Nick. Oh, there you are. Nick! Get your act together. What's that? Uh, they're coming from somewhere. There's one. Not that it's not. Flamer fuel. Alright, so there's a bunch of stuff in there. Here we go, duffel bag. Excellent, let's get rid of stuff we're not going to use. 10 meter, millimeter pistol, ugly, resilient. Yeah, I don't care about that. Gauss rifle, not mine. I need to get a freezing I'm going to hang on to, though. I think it's way better than the old poison ivy. Yeah, take that. This launcher I'm hanging on to. Plasma scatter gun of the nimble. Plus 75 movement speed while using a sight. I don't I don't care about that. Get rid of that. I want the cans. Give me those. Alright. And then there's a whole bunch of food. Ramen meat. Anything like this. Yep, all this stuff. All of this stuff can go. Potatoes. What's taters? Right, more. Get rid of this stuff. Send it to our boys. Our boys and girls over at the uh, Hangman's Alley. Oh my goodness, we really collected a lot of stuff here. Alright, let's see. Uh, Hangman's Alley. Sweet. Salvage team has been dispatched. Hey, Nick. Let's have a look see here. This can be where the. Yeah, I can hear him. Hear those guns somewhere. They're gonna be up. I don't hear a peep. And now I'm wondering why. Yikes. Good job, Nick. Take a look at this green sucker. Nuclear material. Looks 
for me. Built themselves a nice little labyrinthian level down here. I love it when Bethesda does that. It's great stuff. Let's see which way can we... I'm guessing this is not the way over here. This is a dead end. Because there's this. Well, that's what I heard. I thought it was a... I thought it was something else, but it wasn't. Got you. What is this? Is this... This is the other side of that area. Okay. Oh, I see. This is where we came in at. And this is going to be what? There's a room up here. Oh, that's going to be our way out. Okay, before we do that, then let's go back. Nick. What was the other way, then? What's the other way lead to? This is... What do we have over here, Nick? It's just a turret. That's it. Here I was thinking this was going to go off in some other direction for a long distance, and I was wrong. Nice. Okay, so it's just a... It really was a dead end. Right. Let's go back and confront old... Uh, Dingle doodle. Yes, we're back in here. Big, huge bats. That's interesting. This is. Hey! Alright. Stuff there. Oh, something hit me. Something shot me. Nice. Or not, but it's not gonna matter in a second. Nothing down here. a door soon. Oh, hey! What the hell? Oh, my goodness. Bone saw. Combat knife. Yeah, so uh, a little extra meat. Coming from the old uh, ghouls. So people have been getting sick because they've been eating ghouls. You've got some splaining to do there. I told you to stay out of the basement. Now that you know my little secret, I'll just have to kill you. Well, you could try that, but... up there in that control room. How do we get up there? I see. Dropped it. How do I get there though? How do I get up in that control room? Oh, it's over there. Okay. That's out. Mystery meat. Level up, Mr. Lukowski. Oh, look. It's going to be stuff. Can we open this? No, we have to have the terminal. Okay, skins, likeness of one. Um, tanks. So it's not the S on the end, it's something else. Uh, there's no S on the end. Agile has an eye in the middle, which would match with skins. Let's try that. Nice. Combat shotgun. There's a place to sleep. There's a stuff in here. 
is it weapon workbench battery always like to have those and here he is and here's the bobblehead barter there we go. oh that seems appropriate the prices are five percent better great there's a tales of junk town trader permanently gain better prices when buying from a vendor awesome mr lukowski and bottle cap well, what do you think about that, Nick? That was kind of fun. Put an end to the uh, bad canning practices of this fellow. Alright, and then in the meantime, there's, yeah, there's meat. Oh, and this is considered stealing. Some of this is still considered stealing. That won't make Nick like me. Rad scorpion meat, rad stag meat. Interesting how some of this is still considered thieving, but the owner is now dead. In that case. What's out here? Potted meat. Bottle cap. So I don't want to make Nick mad at me, but not so I'm just not gonna pick that stuff up. What's in here? Coolers. All these coolers. Old man was trying to run a pyramid scheme there. Grain in the cap. Not gonna take that. Umbrella stand will take. I'm not gonna take the fishing rods. I don't think they break down into anything good, but I'm not 100% sure. Well, there we go. Long neck Lukaskis. And we acquired yet another bobblehead. I need to actually take a look at the bobbleheads I have, compare them to my notes. It's always fun to try to get all the bobbleheads. Oh, and there's a storm. What time of day is it? I am thirsty. And what time is it? It is 3.01 p.m., so it's just afternoon. All right, where do we want to go from here then in this storm? Um, if we travel due west... Oh, yeah, we got to go through... Saga's Ironworks and the Slog. The Slog would be the good place to go to. So let's, yes, let's put a marker at the Slog. And let's travel, my friend. Oh yeah, Dunwich Borers is over in that direction, aren't they? I think there's a, I think there's, it's right there, you can see it. I think there's also a bobblehead there, but I'm going to save that for later. That's another one of those. Cool, and now I may, I may go do Dunwich Borers here. Usually a quest takes you there. I don't like to do too many of these places if a quest doesn't already take me there, because a quest will take you there later. You know, one of the Radiant AI quests will pop off, and, and that's where you'll go, so. Oh, I love this. True Storm's kicking butt. <clears throat> so good. Weather effects so good. All right, what do we have here? A tower made for midgets and for little people. I just wanted to give myself a wide enough berth not to not to upset those raiders over there. South, because those guys are slight pain in the butt. Ox. Oh, these guys, they'll respawn. They'll come back. I don't know if they're the forged when they come back or just raiders. Just generic old raiders. I suppose the thing to do now is take a look at at all my settlements and see which ones need work. How are you guys doing? <clears throat> General Storeman, how are you doing? We gotta do something to stop these raider attacks. Do we? Is there a problem here? Yes. All right. Looks like we could catch a breather in here. That's precisely right, Nick. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a hell of a time swimming in there with all that. Yes. Alright, let's get some stuff fixed here. 
Their legs. This leg is trouble. So is that one. Everything else. Well, the arms aren't in the best shape, but they want it. I want to be judicious with this because of my. Uh, my aluminum situation. This corn. For a while, I wasn't sure it would take hold. You're not kidding. The carrots are doing pretty well, too. All right, let's uh, give you guys up, some other things here. Warwick is the most successful farm in the Commonwealth. If we do, I hope that fat mayor in Diamond City. Gourds. I want nothing more than to make him feel like a fool for throwing all the ghouls out of Diamond City. I know how you feel, but remember, we're not out to get revenge on anyone. We need to be better than the people who no. have us. That's the only way we're going to earn their respect. You're right, Holly. The last thing I'd ever want to do is let you guys down. Thanks for reminding me about what's important. Sure thing. You're a good kid, Jones. Stay that way. There we go. It's yeah. growing well. Yes. I think we're really making a difference here. If you need supplies, see Deirdre. Deirdre. Okay, well, I don't need supplies. What I need is all your corn, because this helps make fuel. Corn and melons. You guys are doing a bang-up job. Thank you for this. Good job, farmers. Ghoul farmers to the rescue. And also, let's take a look at... Where is the shop here? Oh, it's over on the other end. I'm leaving you guys the furniture in tow until I have enough stuff to make the walls proper here. What do they have? They have all this stuff here. Ball caps, purified water. Oh yeah, I need to just take all this stuff. Sure don't make them like they used to. All right, Nick, let's take a look at who <coughs> is the slog is at 61%. Green Top Nurseries doing good. Finch Farm. Anybody? Oh, County Crossing. We need to go to County Crossing. Okay, County Crossing. Taffington Boat has at seventy-seven percent. Ten Pines Bluff is not happy. Let's go do County Crossing and Ten Pines Bluff. We can walk to Ten Pines Bluff, but there's another settlement and some st stuff in the way. So let's just take the bike. Ten Pines Bluff to the bike. Let's do that. Ten pines buff. How much fuel do we have? Great. Plenty. Let's go get these people fixed up. They, We've obviously set a lot of people down, and now they don't have enough sleeping space. And ten pines buff can be fun to, to get set up. Oh, it's dark, though. Okay. Well. Nick? Let's get some shut eye. I ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Yep, just like this. This place has always got raiders. Things coming after it, so it's it's quite often a little bit of a hazard to sleep here until it gets fully set up. Did someone take your sweet roll? Alright. Sleep. We're going to sleep. We're going to get up in the morning. We're going to make these people a whole bunch of... Well, not a whole bunch, but we're going to make them some proper place. Oh, I feel ill. Okay, we can fix that. Antibiotics. Where's that? Where did I leave you folks with? Some... You guys have water? Did I put it yeah. anywhere for you? We need to get more of that. The sooner the better. Caps. We will. Okay. Not enough beds. Barely enough water. 
It's like, let's do this. I should probably be in my power armor because of something attacks while I'm doing all of this. Then things are going to go bad because I won't be able to to defend myself properly. I'll get shot because I can't move because I'm over encumbered. So let's do this. Let's get 10 Pines Bluff set up today. Easy living, missing. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to try to make it a little bit easier. This is always fun to build up here in this kind of elevated space. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Structures, wood, give me ground, oh, not prefabs, floors, this Last stuff. trader who came through was telling me about the ghoul farm, the one west of Salem. He said they've got a tarberry bog set up in an old swimming pool. Hey, good for them. Nice to see them back on their feet after one day. A tarberry bog in a pool. <laughs> Wish I'd thought of And just like I said, as if we're right on time, I'm hearing gunfire. Hey, hey, hey. You need to go right there. What? Am I? I'm out of wood? Oh, man. Jeez. I need wood, man. I can't. How much wood do I have? Shack Foundation. I can now make 165 because I got some. Oh, those trees were worth a lot. That's great. Okay. Um, in that case. We'll do that. That'll work. Let's go to walls. No, no, no. Take your thumb off of there. Let's work it like that. Uh, I had it right. This... There we go. Hit the right button. That would help. Um, oh yeah, where do I want to put the entrance to this thing? Uh, right there, maybe? It's either that or it requires stairs. Let's put it there. And then let's get some walls. And then let's do these walls. Come on now. Come on. Okay, if you're gonna do that to me, you're not gonna be nice. I'm gonna do that. And then we'll do more, more simple walls here. And then I want an upper floor. So what's going to be the best spot for that? Um, let's do it like right there, maybe? Where do I want the stairs to go? Yeah, this will work. <clears throat> That'll work. Alright. Check upper floor. Yeah, baby. Now we're talking. Okay. Now we can get full line of sight out here, which would be great. Things like this. And then we'll do 
this guy again right there. That works out really well. Roofs, give me the good roof. Where's the thick way? Oh, yeah. This is thin. Slanted. I don't really want a slanty one, I just want a thick one, but there's not much you can do at that point, so I need to do this. Alright, beds. You guys want some beds? I got beds for you. And all the beds you're gonna want. Actually, I don't have that many because I don't have I don't have a lot of cloth. But this will make you happier. Cause I'm gonna give you guys some nice beds. These big ones. Big beds are great. Uh oh. <laughs> Watch where you're going there, dingbat. How many beds do I got? I got seven. All right, now I got eight. You guys need some food really bad, don't you? How come nobody's working in this? Did it all get wounded? It all got wounded, didn't it? Excellent. Who's, how come nobody's working this? What are you doing? Nick, I'm not putting you to work over there, but nobody's doing anything. Nobody's working this, and usually they just automatically do. some other stuff in here so that gets still need one more person to be working some food about your defense your you know farming dude farming that'll get you food there we go let's get you some more this. Okay, and a couple of gourds. Set up. You can have all the food you want. Um, what are you doing? Got it. Great. Okay. Now. Now you guys just need more. You need yeah, defense. Your defense is no good. Um, wood these structures like this. Defense, guard post, give me the big ones so you guys can see really well. Okay, who's doing nothing? What are you doing, sir? Lady, ma'am, you're doing nothing. You're doing something now. Sure. Machine gun turrets. Oh man, I can make make heavy machine gun turrets. I can make turrets. Great. I love it when you get power to these places. I just don't worry about power until I can make the really good power plant. Which reminds me, where am I at on that? I can make those now. I can only make one, though. Oh, that's awesome, but at least I can make one. You know where that's going. Hangman's Alley, baby. 
Okay, Nick. How's this look? This place is looking up. This place is looking up. Let's have some more radiated food. Yum yum deviled eggs. I bet those are just excellent. Canned dog food. I'm not eating bubblegum. Bubblegum is properly fed? I don't think so. Alright, so we're at 19 defense, 8 beds, 6 water. You guys could use... A you have six people. Okay. I think that'll work. I should give you guys some more. Some more. Uh... Here's the problem. You guys need a lot more. You need a lot more defense out here. Because this is the direction all this stuff comes from. So let's put one there. Let's put one right here. And then let's get you guys a lot more current power. Because the big dumb green skins are going to come from this direction all the time, and you guys are going to need all the help you can get. So let's. Let's make a heavy turn up here. Alright, gentlemen, you got 47 defense. It should help. I'm not gonna get rid of that wood cluster yet. Well, yeah. That'll yeah. clear out your sight lines a little bit. Okay, folks. It looks like a party house to me. You guys have fun. Nick and I are gonna figure out where to go next here. Oh, yeah. Hold on. That toilet. Grab all that cement. Okay, Nicholas. Now, where do we want to go? Alright, in this episode, we said the map. Oh, yeah. Ten Pines Bluff is doing better. Taffington Boathouse is fine. Sanctuary is fine. Abernathy Farm probably needs some more defenses at some point in time. Ray Garden will always stay at 50%. The other big one was County Crossing. They're failing. We gotta go to County Crossing. I don't have a bike here. Let's make one. As far as uh, where we want to show up at when there's trouble, let's do it like this. And then let's get a bike. We can make three motorcycles. I'm going to put this one right there. Hopefully a little out of the way. County Crossing, Nick. Let's go. All right. County Crossing. These guys, yeah, there. They're like, dude, it sucks. We have a shack and nothing else. I know. Okay. We will we will take care of you guys, too. We'll take care of you guys, but we'll do it on the next episode. Folks, I'm going to stop it here. Thanks for watching, as always. If you guys have a question or comment, drop it down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.